Hello and welcome. Welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. And there we go. <laughs> Going live on Facebook. Okay, so I'm Lisa Warner. I'm the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. It's a book that I wrote after I healed myself from cancer without using the medical model, simply by shifting my consciousness, changing the way I looked at things. So our, our minds are incredibly powerful. Do you remember as a kid pretending? And then we, were, we would play and we would pretend and we would have all kinds of fun pretending. And as the years went on, we were told to stop pretending. Unfortunately, there is phenomenal power in pretending. When we stop and really take a look at it, we are non-physical beings pretending to be physical. Let that sink in for a moment. We are grand beings of light infinite, unlimited in any way, shape, or form, pretending to be finite, limited humans. This shows the power of pretending. We are pretending every single day, whether we're aware of it or not. What if you could start pretending better? What if you could start to realize who you actually are? A grand being of light. And what if you could start using your power of intention to start pretending a better world? Right now, we're pretending to be physical humans in a world that is at war and, you know, all kinds of things, right? Pretending. We pretend that we're not okay. We pretend that we're victims, that we're limited. And it's very, very real. I'm not, I'm not discounting any of our experiences. When I was facing cancer, it was not a pleasant experience. And it was very, very real in that moment to me. However, when I started to quiet my mind and I started to ask some better quality questions, such as, what's it going to take for me to change this? I started to realize that there's a whole other layer of me, the vast non physical layers of self, of universe of infinite possibilities that are available to each and every one of us. And when I started to see through the eyes of my soul, rather than through these limited human physical eyes, when I started to open my awareness, I started to see what I hadn't been able to see prior. And the more I open my awareness, the more I close my eyes and start to tune in and look at the non-physical realms, the realms of infinite possibility, I realize that all of this, physical or non-physical, is really based upon our ability to 
pretend to be able to, you know, when we close our eyes and we start to tune in to the non-physical beings around us, when we tune into the non-physical realm of infinite possibilities, if we cannot allow ourselves to pretend, to allow ourselves to vision beautiful, amazing things, we can't manifest them in physical form. We have been talked out of our ability to pretend. Everything gets so serious here in the physical realm. And we have to take things so seriously. We shut down our ability to pretend. But the ability to pretend is our ability to imagine. And it's our ability to imagine that allows us to create. If we can't imagine, we can't create. But we are told what to imagine all day, every day. You turn on the TV and they say, imagine this. Look at this. Look over here. Imagine this. Oh, imagine this. This is a you know, killer virus on the loose. Imagine that. Ooh, war. Imagine that. And then we bring it into the physical reality and live it out as if it's real. None of it is all, none of it is actually real the way we think of it being real. It's all pretend, but it becomes our reality. What if you could allow yourself to start pretending, to start imagining grander things, such as heaven on earth? We can actually create that. We are creator beings. We have the ability to create health to create well-being, to create anything we want, wealth, grand adventures. We can create all of it. We live in a universe of infinite possibilities. But we pretend that we're stuck here, that we can only choose this or that. It's not true. All possibilities exist. They're all there for us to choose from. But if we don't allow our imaginations to open back up, if we don't allow ourselves to start pretending again, when we were kids and we pretended that we were you know, playing, playing house, you know, pretending that the pile of leaves that we raked into a square was, was a house that we were playing all kinds of things in all these different rooms of the house that were just leaves on the ground. But we could construct all of these things with our imaginations. We could pretend amazing things. And it would be our experience in that moment. The experience is what's real. It's the only thing that's real. We are grand beings of light pretending to be physical. This is the power that we have because as we are pretending to be physical beings, Physical is the only experience that we're having. We are fully immersed in this experience of being physical. But make no doubt about it, we are literally pretending. What if you could start pretending better? What if you could start to pretend? That you're a grand being of light in physical form. This is what is actually true. It will feel like pretending. 
because we've been focused on being physical for so long. Hundreds of thousands of years of human, human history. But if you don't allow yourself to pretend, if you don't allow yourself to open your imagination, you can't travel through the non-physical realms without the ability to pretend. When you notice your own light, it feels like pretending. You turn on your light and you become this shining sun, just emanating light from your core. You have to pretend to be that light in order to have the experience of being that light. But that is who and what we are. We are beings of light, pure consciousness. And you can move that light all around. You can move it through your body. You can compress that light. You can move that light. If you have a sore shoulder, you can move that light into your shoulder. You can start healing your shoulder using your own light. But if you don't allow yourself to pretend that you can do that, you can't do that. When you start using the power of pretending, it's actually your power of intending. And it's actually your power to move energy and light around at your command. Energy is here to serve us. We can use it however we choose. But if we lock ourselves into these ideas that we're merely mortal, that we're victims, that we're small, that there's something wrong with us, then we get locked into that game and we pretend that there's something wrong with us. And it's a very, very real experience, but it doesn't have to be our experience. We can change our experience at any moment. That's the ability we actually have. But if we don't allow our imaginations to open back up, if we don't give ourselves permission to pretend, We're doomed to suffer. And suffering is absolutely optional for infinite beings. We do not need to suffer on this planet. Heaven on earth is the divine design where we live in peace and harmony and well-being, health, happiness, it's all available. But we have to open our imaginations and we have to start bringing those things into our reality, just like pretending when we were kids. But now we can pretend at a much more sophisticated level. And we can bring heaven to earth through our own physical bodies, through our experiences. We can start experiencing better. As the grand beings of light we are, pretending to be human. We can pretend far, far grander things for ourselves. Are you willing to use your power of pretending 
to start having a more fabulous experience? Are you willing to pretend that you are a grand being of light, that you are a creator, that you are unlimited, and that when you make a choice, that choice, the universe rearranges itself to match your choice? Do you pretend that you are the master of your own reality so that you can start to be the master of your own reality? Can you start pretending well-being so you can start experiencing well-being? Can you start pretending that you are the master of your own molecules and start rearranging all of the molecules of your body on command using your imagination? to start reshaping yourself and your life. This is the power that we each have, but we have been talked out of it. We have been told to stop pretending, stop imagining. I say, let's start pretending again. Let's start using the power of our imagination. Let's start imagining better for ourselves, for the earth, for humanity. We're not stuck in poverty or disease or with war or with unsavory people making unsavory decisions for the world. We can create far, far better for ourselves and this planet. And it all starts with our ability to open our imaginations. So are you willing to give yourself permission to pretend? This is the first step in reclaiming our power. We are grand beings of light, pretending to be physical. Physical is only one tiny portion of who we are. Start pretending better. Start pretending that you are a grand being of light. And see what happens. What have you got to lose? And what do you have to gain? I hope this is helpful to you. If it was, please share it with others. If it wasn't, let me know. <laughs> If you're watching on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to reach out to me, uh, you can find me at connectingyoutoyou.com. Thanks for having lunch with me today. Until next time, create for yourselves a great week. Pretend better for yourself. Bye for now.